My name is Richard. I'll be your skipper, your tour guide, your elegant wrestler, your lion tamer, your sing charmer, your pygmy translator, your hula instructor, and your hula dancer. And if you do not laugh at my jokes, I become your swimming instructor. That's right, sir. There we go. We got some funny pirates on my boat. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. Now we're traveling along the Amazon, where it rains 365 days out of the year. That's almost every day. Almost. And right there, you will see some beautiful butterflies. They have a wingspan going from 12 inches up to a whopping one foot. No reason shot, sir. The same thing. Everybody look right over there, and you'll see Inspiration Falls. Everybody always asks me, Richard, why is it called Inspiration Falls? I am so glad you asked, because if you stare at it long enough, it will inspire you to travel deeper and deeper into the jungle. Everybody point go. Word. Oh, guys, you like to party? Yeah. I am so glad because I've arranged a pygmy welcome party. They're not there. I can't see them, canoe. <laughs> Do you guys see anything that might have scared them away? What about you, buddy? You see anything? Princess, you? Oh, okay, that's it. That could be a giant python that they grew to be 33 feet long and they eat small children wearing purple and blue. Oh. It's okay, kids, don't worry. We're going to stop by my camp and pick up some sacred helmets so you have... Gorillas. That's my sister in law in the back with the gun. She's always shooting about that. Oh, on the bright side of things, I could not get that cheap this morning. It looks like they got it to turn over. Maybe they used a monkey wrench. Or call Triple Ape. Now we're traveling along the Nile, where it goes on for Niles and Niles and Niles and Niles and Niles. And well, if you don't believe me, you're just in. No disbelief, ma'am. Nice try. Right up here, we have a pair of African ball elephants. I know they're African elephants because they have big floppy ears. That and we're in Africa. I can teach you this one a trick. You ready? Speak! It's for the healing. Now it's sign language. Good boy. Yes, now we're traveling along the African belt where we have wildebeest, some hollow zebras, and tall cheetahs. And right at that, you will see a pride of lions babysitting that sleeping zebra. Yes, that is how zebras sleep on their side with a pride of lions right around them. That is the nicest pair of lines I've ever met. Can you feel the love tonight? Reminds me of the scene from my favorite Disney movie, though. Yeah, you know what, know what it is? Tron. <laughs> By the way, you cannot have run an African rhino, sir, in the orange. I know it's tempting, but don't do it. Don't do it. If you don't believe me, you can ask my friend Hauntus. He's on the bottom of the totem pole. Yeah, it looks like that rhino is about to poke a Hauntus. <laughs> Just around the river bank, beyond the shore, where gold's I free. Don't know what for. Sorry, guys, I can trade away. We're entering Crocodile Country. That's old Smiley on the left, and that's his girlfriend next to him, Ginger. Be careful, Ginger. Sex. She's one tough cookie, guys. I'm sorry, Princess. I didn't mean to scare you. Are you okay? Okay, well, oh no, we have a fork in the road. We could go left or we could go right, but last time I went left, something bad happened, so we're gonna go to the right. Yeah, I went left and, you know, well, I know they're not talking about it, but it's all underneath us now. Most people called it a tragedy, but, you know, a tragedy only happens when, you know, nobody returns. I return. Are you George Washington, sir? What's the color? Huh? I know, because I, I saw the wig and I wasn't sure. Okay, I was right. Yay! Oh. Down to airplane. Oh no, that could only mean one thing. Anti-aircraft hippos. I'm see it's a serious thing. Look, they're right over here. And they're wiggling their ears and blowing bubbles. That usually means they're attacking. So if you're wearing white, do not make the sound of marbles because these are hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> I'm gonna try to scare them off with this gun now. Okay, it looks like I scared them off, but oh no, it looks like we're heading into headhunter territory. This is not a good place to be headed. <laughs> Beheaded. When they start dancing in circles like that and drumming, it could be one of two things. One, they lost the key to the men's room. Two, that they'll be attacking from the right side of the boat. So everybody looks to the right side of the boat. It looks like a Lady Gaga concert. <laughs> anyway. Alright, anyway, as we continue our journey, they only attack from the right side of the boat, so everyone keep looking over there. To the right side of the boat, everybody. To the right side. Do you see anything, anybody? To the right side, man. Your other right. There, there you go, right over there. I wonder where they could be. I'm going to try to call their leader. Alejandro! Alejandro! Nobody, okay. Oh, oh, the back of the water. Yes, it's the back of the water. This is where you clap. Uh, Us skippers like to call that O2H. That cool, refreshing mist you felt? Yeah, there's 565 different types of bacteria in that water. You now have malaria. Congratulations. Yes, now we're traveling along the Mekong River, located in the southeast part of Asia in the heart of Cambodia. Right up ahead, you will see Shirley the Temple Idol, so that must make this Shirley's Temple. 
Yeah, guys, do you think we should go in, though? Yeah. It could lead to danger, though. We're in a treasure. Oh, who am I kidding? This is Disney World. It's probably a gift shop. Princess, do you want to drive the boat? No, okay. It's gonna hurt its root. Also brought to you by Cannibal Cafe, finding new and interesting ways to serve you. Yeah. Also brought to you by the Miracle Engine Boat Company. If we made it around the jungle, it's a miracle. Thank you so much for riding my boat today. If you enjoyed your cruise, my name is Richard. If you did not, my name is Peggy Sue, and I work for Pirates of the Caribbean. But just so you know, no trip is complete without saying hello to my friend trader Sam. He's right up here. So everybody go, hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Sam is our head salesman here, but lately sales have been shrinking. He's got a special deal going on right now. Two of his heads for one of yours. Any takers? Come on, guys. Anyway, you're slicing. You come out ahead. All right. Thank you so much for writing my book today. If you laughed at my jokes, thank you so much. If you did it, thank you for leaving. It's been an awkward ten minutes of you just staring at me.